Right then, guys, I'm out with Big Pezza, who's over there, and Dave XS, who's there. They've both got Hondas. I've got a Beta. Let's go play off road. And keep that bar from a side down. Okay, so I might well have no audio from the beginning of this morning's antics. That's because I'm an idiot. So anyway, if that's the case, I'm out with Big Pezza and Dave XS. They're both on their Hondas. And I'm on my new Beta. And we've had a blinding morning. Um, so if there is no audio, I'll cut that into this now. Man. It was scary, I couldn't stop. <laughs> it's the best way. Yeah. It's the best way, you can't stop in the middle of these bloody things. Yeah. But no, I was really surprised, you just fucking thought, oh well. Well, if he got through it, I'm like, well, I could go, I'll just yeah, keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep it revving. Yeah, I think you just got to keep going and, yeah. you know, hope for the best. Beta. I was really worried about these puddles. I didn't know how well this boat was going to deal with them. Having the decent tyres is really helping. I've been a good boy. I've been doing all my off roady stuff standing up. And I'm going to try and maintain that for the duration. Because bad habits die hard and it was something I was terrible at and my KTM's when I had them was standing up when I was riding so I am trying to do the standy uppy thing from the get go and I have to teach myself to lock my knees lock my knees into the not lock them straight um, lock them into the tank to uh, aid the stability and stuff well, I've definitely warmed up again now we just stopped up at Newlands Corner had ourselves a cuppa trying to uh, maintain all good habits and uh, not look down the bike will do those bits all by itself I need to look where we're going uh, I don't want to get too close because some of these are deep horrible that one's deep as I want to go I don't want to go any deeper than that I'm gonna drown this bike if I do so this bike is incredibly relaxing to ride this engine is fantastic something that was happening this morning um, was that I was letting the, uh, the speed get away from me a little bit which made me a bit wobbly at times so uh, it's something I'm trying to uh, control this time is uh, to make sure that I'm not letting the bike get too far ahead of me because it's very easy to get out of your comfort zone without realising it because you're so used to riding road bikes on the road which do hundreds of miles an hour that you forget that actually going fast off road is very different in miles per hour than it is on tarmac like sailing versus power boats, completely different sensation of speed. Uh, That deep puddle, that's about as deep as I want to go. Yeah? Yeah, that was that was pretty wet. Now, now normally, when it's... It, now normally, we're lucky, but 
No, you see that puddle, that deep one, the normal water's higher. Yep. And I've gone along and it's just disappeared. <laughs> just yeah, like, I, I, I waited for you to go through that one all the way before I did. <laughs> <laughs> just disappeared that one. <laughs> see, if you carry on going this way, it'll take you down Chalk Hill. I don't know if I'm ready for that, buddy. No, no, no. I wouldn't take you down there in the wet. Well, we ought to have the beater in the middle, really. Oh, it doesn't matter. Like a Honda sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> a little menage a trois. <laughs> this is a better sandwich. <laughs> tried off-roading you really should give it a go sometime you know it's so much fun it's a little daunting going through the big puddles because you just don't know if you're going to drown it but I've got a scout running up ahead of me <laughs> cheers peasant <laughs> yeah I was watching some videos last night actually and this morning about some various enduro techniques and things for off-road riding to make life easier and yeah I should be on the balls of my feet on the pegs which will give me more control So balls of the feet means your legs act with your ankles as big as suspension. Jump, 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 jump. Well, that was a good little natter down at Riker's Cafe. Are you ready? You're ready to rumble.
there's so many things in life that are worth putting on your bucket list you're not always going to be the same for every single person but if you're into bikes it'd be really cool get yourself into the lucky stuff at least bikes Rubber side down.